Hi there! Welcome to a new science class. Today we will talk about living things, vital functions and behavior. Look at these pictures. Some of them are living things and some are non-living things. Let's see. Rabbit, tiger, the tree and the snail are living things. The rocks, the books, the bench, and the brush are non-living things. How can you tell which are living things and which are non-living things? Well, it's easy. You confirm their characteristics. Living things breathe, eat, and reproduce. These are the main characteristics. Non-living things do not breathe, do not eat, and do not reproduce. Look at this new picture. Is it living or non-living thing? Ask yourself, does it breathe? Well, no, it does not breathe. Does it eat food? Of course not. Does it reproduce? No. Then, it is definitely a non-living thing or inanimate object. We said that living things breathe, eat, and reproduce. But they do something else. They interact with other living things. All of these characteristics are called vital functions of living things. Vital functions help living things survive. But not all living things interact the same way. They perform them in different ways. That is what we call behavior. Look at the pictures of the person, the animal, and the plant. They are living things. But is their behavior the same? You know it isn't. Plants cannot move from one place to another, like people or animals do. However, they can make simple movements. For example, carnivore plants move their leaves to catch the insects. Another example is the way plants grow towers to light. So that means that plants breathe, eat, and reproduce. Ah, also they make simple movements. Animals and people also breathe, eat, and reproduce. We behave differently from plants. We can move from one place to another. We are able to see what is happening around us and differentiate colors. Our body responds to changes with the nervous and locomotor system. And we can communicate. Hello, hi. All of these characteristics or behavior allows us to survive. I'm sure from now on, it will be very easy for you to identify a living or a non-living thing. But let's see if these statements are true or false. A tree is a non-living thing. True or false? It's false, of course. A tree is a living thing. Non-living things eat, breathe, and reproduce. True or false? False. Non-living things are inanimate objects, so they do not eat, breathe, or reproduce. Vital functions help living things to survive. True or false? True, they help living things 
help them notice what happens around them. Let's continue. To breathe, to eat, to reproduce, and to interact are very important things to survive. True or false? Of course, because they are vital functions. Let's go with number five. Plants, animals, and people behave the same way. True or false? You are right. Totally false. Plants cannot do the same things animals and people do. For example, they cannot move around or go look for food to eat. Six. You are a living thing. True or false? Of course you are a living thing. Totally true. You breathe, you eat, you move around, and you might become a father or a mother when you grow up. Well, that's all for today, kids. It's been a great pleasure for me to be today. See you in our next science class. Bye.